Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the We Crochet Facebook page and YouTube channel. We are so excited to be back here again with you on a Wednesday. Okay, the lights got to be adjusted again. It was working good last time, then I had ice troubles. Got to figure this light out so you don't see it in my glasses, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry for the lights. Anyway, it is great to see you all again today. Go ahead and let me know where you're watching from if you're joining us live or if you're watching on the replay. We still check the comments and check out where you're watching from. We are so excited to get to share our new collection with you. Hi, Chris. Hi, Angela. It is so great to see you guys here. Um, we have a new collection. We actually have a couple new collections that are floating around out there, uh, but we're going to take a look at one of them today. And we're going to break it down for you and tell you what we have going on. Um, we've got new collection coming out in February. We just had one that came out in January. We are on a monthly release now. So we're going to have a new release every month, at least for the year of 2023, um, and seeing how that goes. So things are a little bit different, uh, but we're getting back into book printing. We're getting all of that started up for 2023. We are so excited. So you guys will be able to have some books again. Yay! Uh, let's see who else is here. Hi, Hal Crochets. Hi, Karen. Hi, Gail. Oh, Gail, nice to see you. The fog is lifted in South Carolina. Fog is not good. Don't drive in the fog. I can't stand the fog. Um, hi, Vicki. Hi, Margaret. It is so great to see all of you. Chris says, finally have sun and no storms. Chris is out on the West Coast. Um, so I guess they've been having a lot of storms out there and everything. So glad things are clearing up. We have sunny skies today, but it is cold. We are definitely into winter right now. So you know, waiting on that spring. Um, but anyway, it's great to see everybody. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Elaine. Yay. Everybody's here. It is so great to see you. Hi, Wendy from Syracuse. Oh, I bet it's cold up there. Um, it's definitely that winter time. Um, hi, Carrie. Great to see you as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off by just running through a couple things, and then we're going to be bringing Jen in um, to share some of the samples of what we had in our collection. So reminders. I want to remind you, 2023 calendar is 50% off. Let me grab this link for you. Where did it go? Calendar. Um, they're 50% off right now. So now is the time when you want to go grab them. They are $4.99. Like you can't get a cheaper calendar that is yarn focused and so beautiful. So there's the link for that. You can go ahead and grab that. It's a great thing to add to your cart. Speaking of adding to your cart when you just need a little something, I know I'm throwing this in here. I'll grab this link then. But these are card decals. These are great too. They're only like $3, $3.99, something like that. And you can stick them on a water bottle, on a computer, on your car. Um, and just a little great way to share that you love crochet. And it kind of just gets you to that price point that you might need if you need your free shipping uh, minimum and everything. Um, Chris says, it's been horrible since New Year's Eve, flooding and power outages for days. <gasps> oh no, I hope you have lots of yarn. I'm sure you do. So you've been crocheting and working on projects, but still that is no fun. Thanks, Jen, for throwing that link in there. Um, uh, Margaret says the weather turned and it's just below zero. Ooh, but should warm up throughout the weekend. Most of the snow and ice melted today. That is always great, but still zero. Ooh, no, thank you. I'll stay here. I have friends in Canada and I'm always like, no, I will not come visit you over the winter months. I will wait till the summertime. You can come down here. It's warmer for you. Um, so yeah, but anyway, enough about the weather. Go check out your calendars. I also want to let you know we have the red, white, and pink sale going on. Let me grab that link for you. Um, so this is a yarn sale up to 30% off, or actually I think one or two might be a little bit more. Oh, I just stuck it in the wrong place. Good job. Um, here is the link for that. Uh, so you can go ahead and grab any red, white, and pink yarns that are in there. And there's some multicolors uh, in there as well. So you can grab that. Um, really great time to grab yarn with 30% off. Uh, going on. Last sale I want to tell you about is our storage sale. So this is going on for the month of January. This includes our everyday totes, which which they're just one of my favorites. I love these, not just for project bags, but for purses. Um, I usually stick my project in it. Plus I can fit everything else that I need in it. A water bottle, a snack, my keys, my wallet. It's got a huge inside pouch in here. And then just a really big base. Um, it's got nice straps to it. It's a really nice size. I love that one. Grab it in every color. 
It also includes our zipper pouches uh, that are just really nice for sticking in your notions or sometimes I'll put in um, just random little things that go into my everyday tote so that I can easily find things. It also includes our hook cases. Great time to grab a hook case if you don't have one. Um, there's the four new colors from last year. I don't have the quartz with me. So this is the carrot. This is the raisin in purple. And this is the cloud um, in this bluish gray. And then we have a light pink, which is called quartz. Um, so those are the four new colors of 2022 uh, that you can go ahead and grab during the storage sale. Plus, there's a lot of other stuff in there. Those are just some of my favorites that I wanted to share with you. Okay, we're going to bring Jen in here and we are going to talk about our Coffee Bar Couture collection. I will grab that link for you. And this is a collection of six brand new patterns over on our website that are home decor patterns that you're going to fall in love with. So I want to bring Jen in. Let me just double check I have the right one. We're going to start off with the chai blanket. So let me bring her in. Hi, Jen. Um, so Terry just said, love all your totes and different bags. Love the chart keeper too. Yes. The chart keeper is also a really great option as well. Okay. So hold on one second. Let me bring Jen up a little bit closer here so we can see what's going on. I want to bring in the link here for you guys for the coffee bar couture. So you can check out the ebook. You can also get these as individual patterns if you would like to, um, but you might as well buy the collection in the ebook. It's only $12.99, where each of the patterns are $4.99, so it's totally, totally worth it. Okay, so this is the Chai Afghan. Now, the blankets that we're showing you are going to look a little bit smaller because we made them in the smallest sizes that you possibly can, but they do come in larger sizes, um, especially this one. This one is so easy to customize because each of those are blocks. So you'll see the brown, the tan, the green, and the orange. That makes one block and then you're putting them together so you can make this whatever size you want. You don't have to follow the patterns stating it should be this many by this many. You make it up, you figure out what you want to do. Um, the really great thing here is this is a corner to corner afghan. So you can see how that kind of works up there and then you're putting them together um, from corner to corner basically and seaming them all together. Um, this one is done in our Wool of the Andes Super Wash, which also makes it really great because you can throw it into the wash machine if you want to, which I always think is highly recommended when making a blanket that you find something that's an easy care because you're going to want to use this all the time. Um, if you do take a look at the pictures on the website, you will see it's a great lap blanket, even at this size. Um, I think it would be great for like in the office for keeping over your lap or over your shoulders, just like Jen is doing. It really is beautiful. And again, there's four colors that you're going to need for this and you can really play around with it. I love as Jen holds it there, you can see it makes this illusion. Like it looks like the greens are the shelves and the orange are the walls and you kind of have these box cube things. I just think it's really great. I love it. So that is our first pattern that we are sharing about. The next one we have is called the Earl Grey Pillow. Um, this one is the color pillow that is really beautiful. Um, we love it so much. This one is done. Let me bring Jen up a little bit closer. So she's the full screen. Um, so this one is done in our Brava bulky. So again, super washable, easy to care for. You might not throw the full pillow into the wash because, you know, it has the tassels on it and everything, um, but you can easily like spot clean it and everything else that you would want to do with it. Um, I love the tassels. I think they just add such a pop to this pillow. And we went with like this, the seraphin and the denim color here on this one, but you can really do anything. Um, this one here is done just beautifully in the colors that it is. The purpley, the seraphin is just a textured stripe that's in there. So it really adds to it. It's not just a basic flat pillow. It's got some really nice texture. It's got the really great tassels. You could do it without the tassels, let's be honest. If you really didn't want the tassels, you could do it without, and it would still be fabulous. But we all need a little tassel in our life, right? Tassels and pom-poms, they just kind of make the world a better place, I think, sometimes. Uh, but we really love that. 
throw it on your couch. You'll notice that these um, items go together, um, but they're not perfectly matches. So if you wanted to make these for your home, you could make the colors match more precisely through the different um, yarns or grab all the same yarns because they're, you know, most of them are bulky weight, so you can go ahead and change it. All right, let's talk about the lavender tea blanket. And so if you couldn't tell, this is our um, coffee bar couture. Um, and so we were going really with a theme of what are things that you're drinking in a coffee bar or in a coffee um, house or something like that. And so, you know, we had the chai Afghan, we had the Earl Grey pillow, and now we have the lavender tea blankets. Let me bring Jen up in here. So our lavender tea blanket um, is individual squares. So you're working each of the squares individually and seaming it again. So both blankets so far have been really great for traveling because you can make the individual squares as you go and then seam them up as the end. These are done in the herringbone single crochet. And it's really easy to kind of put these squares together and then... Uh, or make the squares and then put them together. You'll also notice it's a little bit harder because we have the dark purple, but the light purple squares, the like rows go one direction and the dark purple squares, the rows are going the other direction. So you get this really nice hatched look to it, which I really think just elevates the blanket instead of having everything going the same direction. This is also done in Bravo Bulky. So you can match this back up perfectly with your... Um, Earl Grey pillow. It would go really beautiful with this if you're matching your colors or even just complementary colors as well. But they are done in the same yarn. So we really love that one. Uh, yeah, so Jen's holding them both up there together. And you can see we did use the seraphin in both. Then we just used the purple in the blanket and we used the denim in the pillow. Still go really great. A great way to tie it together with one similar color and then have the other pop for the other version. Okay, the next one we're going to talk about is called the matcha blanket. Um, this one is a different. So the other blankets or other projects are all using bulky weight yarn. This is not. This is using Brava worsted, but it's held double. And the reason we're holding it double is if you see there, so we have the avocado color and we're holding two avocado together. And then we're going into the tweed. We actually added tweed, Brava tweed here in the middle. And so we held one avocado and one of the Brava tweed tweed together. And then we went into the third color doing the same thing. So it gives you this really nice fade and kind of like muted combination instead of very stark color blocking. And we just really love it. It gives you a lot of opportunity because it is done in Brava worsted. So you could do it in tweed. You could do it in regular Brava. You could do it in Brava stripes. Um, there's just so many options. You could do it in Brava speckle. There's so many options of what you could do here and how you could combine them together to get that really beautiful marled transitional look here uh, with the blanket. Again, these blankets are all smaller lap size blankets, but there are options for larger versions if you take a look at the pattern. So we love that one so much. Um, and then we're going to go into the next one, which if you love texture and you love bobbles, hold on to your horses because this is going to be the one for you. Um, this one we called our pumpkin spice pillow because we did this beautiful um, burnt orange to it. And the pop with the blue is just chef's kiss, if I do say so myself. Um, I just love it with the pops of color. You could do it all one color and have it very subtle. You could do it in two shades of a color and have it more subtle. This one also is Wool of the Andes Super Wash Bulky, making it easy to spot clean. Um, or depending on how you do it, you could add a zipper into one of the sides instead of seaming it the way that we did, that you could then remove it if you really wanted to. Um, I do love how you can see there that there is the texture on both sides of the pillow. So you could do that. Again, if you don't want to, do the bobbles and texture on one side, make the back of it flat and don't put any of the texture in. There are options for this if you're into it but not wanting to do it two times. Uh, you could also do it that the whole thing is the orange color and you've got blue bobbles on one side. And then on the other side, you did orange bobbles. So one side is very like poppy. One side is very one color. And then depending on your mood for the day, you could kind of flip it around and see what's going on. But I love this one. I love the diamond on it. I love that it kind of like flows out of the pillow. 
um, this is definitely something that I want to make for my house. I've got pillows that I've been looking for pillow covers for since they don't match my house anymore, uh, the decor that we have. So I love this. This is one of the top on my list. And I hope you guys try this one out too. We do have one more pillow to show you that Jen will bring in here for us. And this one is called the Sleepy Time Pillow. And this one is a really great pillow. Because although in our case, we used full balls of yarn, you could get away with making this a scrappy pillow. You could get all of your scraps together that are similar colors or maybe different colors um, and put them all together to make a really great pillow. This one is worked diagonally. Uh, so you're working from the point, you're increasing out, and then you're decreasing back to your point as well. This one is also done in Bravo Bulky. So you could pull in the colors um, from the other blankets. And you'll notice here, so we have the orange that matches um, the pumpkin spice pillow. We've got the blue that goes also with the pumpkin spice pillow. We've got the avocado in there that is pulling in from the matcha blanket. Like we're trying to really pull the colors in in ways that you can put these things together in your home, but they're not matchy matchy. Like things don't have to be matchy matchy to look like they go together. They can have one or two similar colors and it's just going to look really phenomenal put together on a couch, on a bed, wherever you might put it. I think these are really great for like guest rooms so that when somebody comes to stay with you, it's like this little extra special handmade piece that they have in their room. So these panels, there's two panels, worked diagonally, striping three colors in the pattern, and then you go ahead and you seam it around your pillow form. Um, I should say that all of these pillow patterns are using a pillow form, um, although you could use fiber fill to fill them. Um, we highly suggest using a pillow form when possible, just because then the stuffing doesn't come out. I mean, not that none of them, so none of them are holy, but it just happens. Like when you make a crochet stitch, there's always a little bit of room in between them. And so if it's just straight up stuffing, it could come out of the hole over time. Or if you're like in my house and have kids with little fingers that like to pick at things, the stuffing is going to come out. Um, we do have one more project to share with you. This is a free pattern that came out at the same time as this collection. So it is not part of the ebook if you go and buy the ebook, but you can get it for free. We'll grab the link in a minute and throw it in there. This is called the Gemini Pillow. Um, and let me bring this up. And again, this is really great. It's using a bulky yarn. It's got beautiful tassels. Look at that texture and the stitch work here on this pillow. Um, it's just... I, I don't, what else do you say about it? It's just absolutely beautiful. I love it. And the thing too that I like is you can see little bits of holes um, from the stitches because it is a large um, weight yarn, but you could go ahead and you could put a piece of fabric in there. You could sew your own pillow lining so that you've got another little color. I mean, I like it with the white popping through. That's perfectly fine for me. But if you want to take it to the next level, you could always make your own pillow insert using your fiber fill. Um, and then you'd have like a little pop of color sticking out as well. So, and we picked it Gemini because there's two different sides to it and everything else. We just thought it was the perfect fit. And again, you don't have to put the tassels on, but they're totally worth it and totally cute. And again, you can throw all three of these pillows together to make a really great little, or four, three four pillows now with the this one. Um, but you can put them all together. Look at how well they match up. And you can have this really great little um, collection on your bed or your couch or whatever else. And you're not making the same pillow over and over. I don't know about you, but I like to make different things. So it's always great when I can have something uh, a little different to make, but yet they still go together and they're so cohesive. So we are loving them so, so much. Um, I'm going to unmute Jen and see if she has anything she wants to say about the collection. She works hard with me to get all of these samples done and get everything into the final form before they go live. I was just going to reiterate what you said about a pillow form, especially with this one, because you can see that the texture is great, but you can definitely see what's underneath. Yes. Um, but what you could do if you really wanted to use um, fiber fill is you could line it with mm -hmm. a contrast color so your color pops through and then you've got your fiber fill inside. 
Right. And plus, like I was saying, you can make your own pillow form, but really you could just take the fabric and sew it to the crochet and then just seam up the crochet and stick your fiber fill right into it. Like you don't have to make a pillow form. You could just line your crochet and then stuff it. Either way, you're accomplishing the same thing, but in a slightly different way. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we love that so much. Thank you, Jen, for sharing. I do want to say Jen was here, what was that, two weeks ago? And we talked about the cows that we had. Mm -hmm. And we had um, the Cozy Cow collection had five in it. Plus then we had Cozy Cows Beyond the Basics. But if you didn't see the Cozy Cows collection, all five of those are now available as a kit that you can go and you can purchase. It has the yarn. This is Beyond the Basics. Um, but all of those have a kit now that you can go and grab the yarn, the hooks, the pattern. It comes in a project bag, um, everything you need. And it's a really great price point. Like you can't beat the price of these kits. So you're going to want to go check those out. We'll grab that link. I kind of forgot about that one. Um, well, not forgot about it, but when we were pulling links. Anyway, we'll get it in there for you. So thank you, Jen, so much for sharing that with us. Uh, have a great day. Uh, we will be back. Um, in another, uh, not next week, next week we have Marley Bird on. She is going to talk to us about her upcoming event, her game day event, which is so much fun. You're going to love it. So be sure to join in for that. Um, but we are going to be coming back. We have two other collections. Well, no, this was our, that was our December collection. The one that just launched was our winter morning collection, which was another collection of five patterns that you're going to want to go check out. We're going to bring those on and we're going to share those with you in about two weeks so you can see all of those. We're also going to have a collection starting launching in February on the 1st, which is a Wednesday. So if you're not already signed up for the emails, that's the best place to find out what's going on or over on the homepage. If you go to the homepage now, you're going to see this the storage sale going on. You're going to see the red, white, and pink sale going on. You're going to see any of the We Collaborate stuff going on. The designer spotlight. We have Cassandra Skipper this month. She's our featured designer. So make sure you're checking out the homepage. Make sure you're checking out the email. Make sure you're checking out Facebook and Instagram because we keep reminding um, everybody of all the new stuff that we have going on. We had new yarn colors come out. So we keep putting that on the homepage and in emails so you guys can check that all out. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back next Wednesday with our special guest, Marley Bird, to talk about her game day event and what you guys might want to do to participate. And then we'll also be talking about the following week, um, some of the new collections that we've had um, as well. So we've got a lot coming up, or maybe that's three weeks. I don't know. I have to look at the calendar again. Uh, but we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up and some really great guests that you're going to enjoy. Um, I do want to also say real quick, if there's a guest you'd like to see us bring on and chat with, please put it in the comments um, so we can try to reach out and figure out a time to get them on. Um, and also if there's a we collaborate idea that you'd like to see us collaborate with a company or a small business, let us know too. I'm always looking for something new. We are working through 2023 and who we're going to be collaborating with. We've got a lot of great uh, companies that we want to partner with that are small businesses in the industry uh, that we just want to make sure everybody knows about because we think they're phenomenal. So Thank you for spending your time with us today. And thank you to Jen again for joining me and sharing all the samples. And we will see you next week. And until then, I hope you guys are all crocheting and checking it out. Oh, I did forget to say, in case you didn't notice, Dot Hooks sold out in uh, 48 hours. We will be getting more Dot Hooks in. They are not scheduled to be in until the end of April, beginning of May. We are trying our best to get an earlier shipment of those since they sold out. So please make sure that you stay tuned to the emails and the homepages if you're looking for those. Or if you go to the website, it'll still have them as an item and it'll say the date that they're supposed to come back. But there's also a little spot that says notify me. If you click on that and put your email address in there, you will get an email as soon as they go back on the site. So you'll be like the first to know um, as soon as they go live again. So that'll be about the end of April, beginning of May is the current time frame to get those, but we are trying to get them in a little bit earlier if possible. So thank you for your love of dots hooks. It was a, a 
an amazing ride for those three days. And uh, we're so excited that they sold out so quickly, but we're getting more in. So please stay tuned. All right. Have a great day. And we will talk to you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs>